Hallelujah to Jesus. We give you the glory. Let God be exalted in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. This is God's soul channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please family like this video. Share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you. As you do that in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory above Father. Child of God, hear me very well. The woman that attacked you, she's an unrepented demon. Someone who is never willing to repent. Someone who is never willing to change. So don't be deceived. Don't be deceived. You know, we call serpent the old the old serpent never really repent, you know. Sometimes you need to stay away from some certain things. If the hurt that you experienced before through this woman was so deep, and you don't want to fall into that kind of hurt before, as you are forgiven, you have to just walk away. There are some persons who are not supposed to remain in your life forever. They came and they had to go when their time had ended. It is not that they are dead, they are alive. But you have to separate yourself from that heart, from that thing. You need to heal. Many of us, we carry different kinds of things along. All because we want to please the opponent. Well, we want to please, please somebody. We want to please people so that they will not ask us, Ah, you're not a Christian. Ah, you're not born again. Christianity is not foolishness. There are many Christians who need to heal. Who need to heal because of what people will say. They will forget about their healing process. You want to heal others. How can you heal someone when you are not healed? How can you heal someone when you don't have healing? How can you give healing? So there are some certain things you need to put aside if you must be completely healed. Many people walk with invisible scar. Because we are Christians, we walk with invisible scar. A time has to come, you have to take decision and say, no, this cannot be. I need to heal for me to heal others. Hallelujah. You need to understand that that woman that keeps attacking you, because when I hear this message specifically, I see a woman. I know women can meet different things in the spiritual realm. It can be a man. It does not have to be just a woman when we use the word woman just as the word the bible says when the bible refers to men he's talking to every one of us glory to jesus glory to jesus you know it can be a man it can be a woman glory to jesus child of god sometimes it is not about forgiving it is not about love it is not about unity first of all it is about you uniting yourself it is about you forgiving yourself it is about you healing so that you will be able to carry your own cross if you don't heal and you carry other people you will be broken you will be broken i keep telling us you can't give what you don't have you can't give what you don't have Satan does not change Anyone that tell you that they have changed and they did not come back with salvation, they did not come back with Christ, send them back to where they are coming from. The fact that you send them back does not make you a bad person. How many people are you going to please just to displease your own life? How many people are you going to please just to go inside your home and start crying? Sometimes you need to stand your ground. You need to stand your ground. It is allowed. You need to stand your ground. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. The woman have not changed. She's a demon in human form. She's a demon in human form. I say to you, child of God, anyone that have come into your life and you see the way they are acting, they never change. Avoid them to build your peace. Avoiding some certain situation does not make you a bad person at all. Does not make you somebody who is not okay, who does not know love. You know love. If you don't know love, you would not have been able to forgive. But for you to be able to stand strong, you need to heal. Sometimes when we talk about Christian healing, people are like, hey, no. Sometimes we need to talk about these things. There are many people who are working with scars. They are working with scars or bearable pains inside of them. And the causes of this pain is still stick to them. They don't want to release it because they are afraid of what men will say. I want you to understand that even the dead, those that are in the grave, People still speak ill of them. What a barrels that are here. 
Jesus that everyone saw that he was really he is really risen. Everyone saw the resurrection of Christ that we can boldly speak about today. Even be those that saw the grave was empty, they still argue. They still try to cover it up. And there you are, you want to please man? Child of God, you need to heal. This is what the Lord said I should tell you. I pray through the help of the Lord, you'll be able to heal, restored in the name of Jesus. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.